Hi, welcome to Janelle's Nollywood Diary. My name is Janelle. Today's gist is a bit lengthy, so I'll just delve right in. A couple of weeks ago, I saw him in this Oyubo movie, Redcon 1. Something ministered to my spirit that he had Nigeria in him. And when I saw the cast, his name, Oris Uero, betrayed him. And I knew I was right. Although the movie was whack. Mm -hmm. I liked the style. So, I searched if there were any Nollywood movies he's been in. And voila, I came across Road to Yesterday. This movie is Genevieve Inaji's first film as a producer and also Ishaya Bako's first future film. It had its world premiere at the 2015 African International Film Festival on 13th November 2015. Imagine how high my expectations were with this delicious set of people. <laughs> now, was this expectation met? Let's find out. The movie centers on an estranged couple, Victoria and Izu. They had to suffer each other's company on a road trip to a relative's food. Funeral. Anyways, Victoria tried to make amends and explain the situation that got them to where they were, but Izu didn't want to hear about it. The cause of the rift to their five-year-old marriage was because of the shocking and alarming discovery about Abigail. Will their marriage survive the harsh realities of this discovery, or will the past keep rearing its ugly head to haunt and remind them? The music was um, almost non-existent and um, the little they played wasn't just it. In all, the movie was very, very quiet. No good music to tutorials at all, at all. <laughs> yeah, I know you would say she's a child, but Abigail couldn't act. Mm -mm, no emotion whatsoever. I've seen better child actors. Now, Victoria keeps saying, we should talk, we should talk, we should talk over a hundred times and yet made no move for the talk until much, much later. The movie was really, really draggy. Ah. I got exhausted myself. Well, the only thing I liked about the movie is the sequence of events and they really got me at the end. Yeah, they did. The climax was good, though it was draggy, but it was good. I read this movie a 2.5 star. Don't forget to subscribe via mail and our socials to stay abreast on Nollywood movies and what not. Stay safe.